Oh, and then Glisten is a unicorn reindeer who has a cute little rainbow pastel unicorn whatever Her jacket. Name's Glisten. And Glisten, because like girl, listen. Girl Glisten. Is. at what is this place oh my gosh we got enchantment of the seas and then some sort of celebrity i'm not sure which one that is right yeah jubilee will be around the corner this way and yeah so cool We'll talk soon. Good morning. We're ready to start the day. We are in Cozumel today, as you've already seen, maybe from that other clip, uh, depending on how I order things. If this is the first thing you're seeing, then we're about to leave the ship to go um, Cozumel it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I think we're gonna go up and Cosa get some- uh, Mingle. in the Cazas, Mo's. <laughs> I don't know what that means, sorry. <laughs> it's early, you guys are expecting too much from me right now. Um, I think we're gonna go up and get some food first yeah. and maybe a drink and then uh, get off and then do stuff and then come back. So yeah, nothing planned today as far as like excursions or any, you know, book tours or anything. Just gonna explore the immediate cruise port area, see how we feel, um, see what kind of crap we can buy mm -hmm. and whatever. That Souvenirs, part. Some, of, part. <clears throat> some of us have children that you know, <clears throat> like to get gifts. So yeah. yep. gotta do that, all that and whatever. And then we'll go from there. So yeah, anything else? back to the room and we got a little stingray today it's so cool when I get ones that I've never gotten before this one's tiny though I know you can't really tell the scale but this is by far our smallest one but it's cute right it's so cute we'll talk soon we've got five ships over here in this little area uh, with us today we've got enchantment of the seas we've got celebrity constellation and then we have three carnival ships carnival breeze carnival horizon and carnival jubilee uh, it looks like Enchantment is the first to push off. I can't tell um, the carnival ships if they're still around because uh, they're on the other side of us. But um, yeah, we just had a horn honk and now Enchantment is pushing off. Looks like Celebrity Constellation is still, like there's still people over there um, walking. So I'm assuming, you know, they're still good to get on board and stuff. Um, but bye-bye Enchantment. See you next time. 
we are all supposed to be back on board right now, but they did just call out two names, so hopefully they make it back in time because we're getting ready to push off ourselves. Those people walking are going to either Jubilee or Horizon because, uh, yeah, our back on board time was like 30 minutes ago, so. We're sailing, we're sailing away. It's our turn to leave. Goodbye, Constellation. Goodbye, Cozumel. I'll see you next time. We'll talk soon. Ocean Plaza is the Deck 5 thoroughfare where most of the indoor activities are on the ship, including the casino, and for our purposes, Alchemy Bar. And they have a stage there right next to Alchemy where they almost always have activities going on, or at the very least, live music. And I really love how Alchemy and Red Frog connect through to each other. It makes it easy to access both and bounce back and forth. And we said hi to our Alchemy peeps and then grabbed a round of drinks to take down to dinner. So this is Lawrence. He's a frog. Because it's leap day. Maggie made him at the Builder Bear workshop because it's leap day. Lawrence is also coincidentally the cruise director's name. And he's pretty fabulous, so she got um fabulous shoes for for the frog version of Lawrence. And a captain suit. Isn't that cute? And that's why I have a lot of glisten. Oh, and then glisten is a unicorn reindeer who has a cute little rainbow pastel unicorn whatever Her jacket name's glisten. and glisten because like girl listen girl glisten is. um yeah so that's uh that's glisten i didn't go to the build bear thing but um i was there in spirit maybe uh, i could have helped you get a bear for like one of your kids yeah that's the thing someone would get left out but both of the girls, uh, Sierra and Mackenzie, both have birthdays in March. And in case you guys didn't know, whatever month your child is born in, if you go to Build-A-Bear, you pay whatever year, like whatever year they're turning. Yeah. So my daughters are turning nine and six. So I will pay $9 for one bear and $6 for the other. That's good to know. Yeah. Doesn't include the accessories, though. You have to purchase those separately. My <laughs> my dog is turning a um, turning thirteen in November. What do we do about that? Maybe if you take your dog to build the bear, they'll let it. I don't know. We <laughs> could try it. We'll see what happens. Well, we're getting ready for the '80s party now. Um, Heather's looking like she's wearing a tutu, a tutu, um, and Mag also has a green version of the same tutu. So they're going to be matchy-atchy. I'm wearing corduroy, let me flip the camera. I don't look that great, but it's corduroy, which is more 70s than 80s, but I always wear this for the 80s thing, and then I'm gonna put a bunch of glowy shit all over myself, and that'll hopefully be good enough. But anyway, that's the update, that's what we're doing. More evening festivities to come. We'll talk soon. Bye. So we made our way up to the Lido deck for the glow party. The girls are always so good about bringing stuff for the themed events like that, and so we definitely looked the part. Lawrence, the cruise director, really did a good job of making the glow party extra fun, and of course with the 80s music, you can never go wrong. And that concluded with us going down to the Limelight Lounge for Carnival Quest, which of course I'm a big fan of, and unfortunately you can't record any of that. And when everything was all said and done, it was very much the middle of the night, so I want to thank you all so much for traveling with us. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon, and y'all have a good night.